counting how many times I say I'm sorry. Saying sorry for me is almost like a natural instinct. It's very automatic. I'm gonna guess that I say sorry about at least 15 times a day. Welcome back. Sorry doesn't seem to be the hardest word for women. In fact, we've been taught that it is the right thing to say since we were little. But what we were conditioned to do is not always what's best for us. Joining us today is communication and confidence coach Karen Donaldson. Yeah. 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 Thanks sorry, not sorry, me. right? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Karen. Uh, Karen, I wanted to uh, speak with you. I am someone who does this a lot, and I find this almost emotional to speak about, so I, I very much appreciate you coming out here. It's a fact that women apologize more than men. I just want to know why that is. Is it because men are more stubborn, or is there a sense that women have to make up for something? Because I certainly feel it. That's a really good question. And a lot of people believe that it's because men are more stubborn, but it's not true. Like a study has found that women apologize more because we actually have a lower threshold for what we think is actually offensive, where men have to have seen they've offended someone or have been addressed to actually offer an apology. And it, as you said, it comes back to how we were conditioned as girls. Yeah. Think about us on the playground, be nice, be accommodating, think about their feelings, be the peacemaker. And on the other side, men are just not conditioned like that, nor are they from a young age. So that's what it has to do with primarily. That's wow. so true. Doesn't feel so primal, huh? Yeah, and you almost, you become this people pleaser. Totally. And then you neglect yourself. Completely. Um, do you think apologizing ruins a woman's confidence subconsciously? Oh, that's a really good question. It actually does. Because when we say we're sorry, whether we realize it or not, we are, admitting that we're in the wrong for something. So we're going into a situation and we're already apologizing. And apologizing when we've done something wrong is actually a real strength, but compulsive, yeah. ongoing, overly apologizing actually undermines, number one, our authority. It eats at our self-confidence and our self-esteem, and it starts to become disempowering to us because we can't be confident and sorry at the same time. Which is it? So we need to pull back on it. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting because I feel, and some of the people that I know, and even some of the people in my family who apologize the most, are really masking the fact that they are control freaks. They feel they're responsible for everything. Mm. So they think they're like, oh, I'm sorry for the weather. I'm sorry for this. I'm sorry mm. for that. Whatever. So it's almost like a layer in front, it's like a reaction formation, mm. you know, in, like in therapy, when you do the opposite of what you're really feeling. So you're apologizing, but you're really apologizing because you really think that you're the one in control of everything and can handle everything and maybe didn't handle everything. You know, because women, I think, tend to, they know how sensitive men are. They, they give so much to their boys and they know that they're gonna have a hard time in life. You know, like, oh, my boy, blah, blah, blah. And they know women are really gonna have a tough time. So they want their daughters to grow up strong and having to take a lot on. So these women grow up and feel like I'm supposed to be in charge of everything. I'm controlling everything. And I'm so sorry it's not working out on every level. What do you think about that? <laughs> oh, really good. I, I like what you shared there. It was, it was a lot, but it's so true. There's some people who come about it, and that is masking that controlling behavior. But on the opposite side, like I want to go back to women. For us, it's a, it can be habitual, right? We have been groomed to be inclusive in nature, and a part of that comes along with it. And we actually need to stop and pull back, and it comes down to self-awareness. Everyone can only take ownership for who they are, how they show up, and what they do. So there's a course of things. If women want to pull back and be more powerful and stand in their truth and be more confident, there's some things they have to do so they can actually stop it. We can only control ourselves, and that's what I want to focus on. So truth. how can women stop it then? How can we, what can we do so we don't say sorry as much? When it's not even our fault. Yeah. You know? Well, only apologize for the things that you're really responsible for. Well, what if I'm right? conditioned, like, I say it almost like a muscle memory. Like, it just comes out. Sorry Got for it. that. You know what I'm saying? Got it. It comes down to the first thing is this. It comes down to self-awareness. You can't change what you can't acknowledge. And so with the self-awareness, it doesn't happen by osmosis. So you've identified it, it, you've identified it, and you realize that I'm always saying sorry when I'm late. I'm always saying sorry when, you know, I send a text hours after someone said something. So a few things. The first thing is this. You want to practice being more direct. Eliminate the sorry and just say what you're saying. Mm. The second thing is this. You have to consider changing your vocabulary. So think about the occasions where you often say sorry, and you want to think of some ways to interrupt that pattern. And here's what I mean. Sometimes when we go in late, I find more women than men, we rush into the room or we walk into the room and say, I'm so sorry for being late. How about this? 
thanks for your patience. Mm -hmm. Or, I know I've spoken for a while, I've been speaking for a little bit, for too long, you know what, I'm so sorry. How about thanks for listening? So you wanna have some prepared phrases to Mm. say instead, and choose the silence instead of saying sorry before we speak. Because we have to stop apologizing for our voice, for sharing our opinion, and being in the same space as everyone else. Absolutely not, but we take ownership over that. Wow. Say thank you instead. Yes, yes. thank you, Jeff, for being so yeah. resilient to some yeah. of the digs. <laughs> Sometimes it's condescending, though, Karen, right? <laughs> oh, it can be. I'm just, so... kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But thank you for being a good sport. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Karen. We appreciate you. TVL Nation, you can helpful. take part in an online confidence boot camp with Karen. There's one for women and men. That's great. Visit KarenDonaldsonInc.com. We'll be right back. Are you suggesting I Thank take you. one? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Sensitive, takes it in.